Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Dapper Dividends. I am Russ, and today I'm going to be showing you an app I've been using called the Stock Dividend Tracker app. I'm going to show you how I use it, what I like about it, what might be a little bit better. And we're also going to turn this into a series because as I was looking through the app store, I've seen some dividend tracking apps that were not available. They kind of look like grass being greener on the other side. So I'm going to give them a go. I'm going to input one of my portfolios. We're going to run through them. We're going to let you know what we think of them. If we say we, it's me. And by me, I mean he. He is me. We're going to tell you what's going on with that. So let's check out the Stock Dividend Tracker app. All right, what's up? We're going to be going over an app I love to use, the Stock Dividend Tracker app right here in the center is what we're going to be looking at. Now, I will be going over some other of these. You can see there are a bunch of Stock Dividend Tracking apps. We're going to open the app up. Very nice front page here. One of the favorite things I like to look at here the magnifying glass with the calendar click on it brings you to the calendar this is something i've posted quite a bit on twitter you can go through and you can see your past and the present and the future as you know we can only be living in the present because the past is past and the future is never attainable because when the future comes it is now the present and we can never be in anywhere but the present so let's click on the future <laughs> speaking of and we'll click on the 16th of November, ABV. You can see that I have it in two different portfolios. We will click on my portfolio, Rust. Very nice, gives you the market value, the cost basis, your gain, income diversity, ex-dividend date lets you know that it was on October 14th and the pay date is on the 16th as we just saw. We clicked on that. Mine has your next payout here is $24.78 on my 21 shares. Nice little breakdown here. I'm currently earning 30 cents a day from AbV. I like this average days to recover after the ex-dividend. If you click on that, they say the relation of a price recovery after the ex-dividend date exists at the aggregate level because investors purchasing the stock on the ex-dividend date do not receive the dividend, the price of the stock should theoretically fall by the dividend amount, which it does. We have gone back and figured out averages as to how many days it takes to recover to 0, 1, and even 2%. Average to recover 2%, 21 days. It's a nice little feature that they have. This is really nice. Check this out already. The current yield is 5.26%, but look at my yield, 6.32%. This is what I love about dividend growth investing. Recent dividends, nice little chart. This is a good visual representation going back five years. Shows you exactly how nice it is. Keeps moving up and to the right, which is what you want to see. I like the My Horizon. You'll see that I have 21 shares and that is a 6.3% yield on cost. Slide your finger to the right. You can go up. They will show you if you do not buy any more shares, but you keep reinvesting those. By the year 2039, I will have 131 shares with a massive 16% yield on cost. This is the power of compounding and dividend growth investing. This is a really cool chart that I like to use to keep you keep your head in the game and keep you investing and showing why you should invest and then when you scroll down for each of these cards you will see they have they have any news for that particular ticker symbol really cool really well done really put together when you go back out to the main page you can sort your gains or losses i have it sorted by gain my biggest gainer right now is alba marley ticker symbol alb i'm up a stupid 81 percent on the lithium manufacturer as you can go down and I will not hide it. My worst loss so far is Big Altria. I do have 100 shares of Altria. You can click on there and see how terrible that has been. Now you can see the little wheel to the top right. We'll go ahead and click on Healthcare Detailed View. Nice little color wheel here. You can see that J&J &J is my big winner at 55% of that sector I have, CVS, Merck. Really nice, nice, well put together. And if you click on the three little lines, I don't know what they're called. Projected div dividends. They show a suspended dividend, six flags. Don't show again until changed. Like that they show the confirmed 
next deposits that you will have November 16th. They just put it out very nicely for the quarter through the year end. You can click on it and get an expanded view of what's been confirmed and what is estimated to be, but not confirmed just yet. And we'll click on monthly income for all of those of you who are worried about your monthly income and balancing it out. Just save. Save your money and you'll be fine. Aren't we all supposed to be savers anyway? Shows you confirmed versus estimated. Any dividend changes for the quarter or the year or the month. Last we just had McDonald's and Starbucks. McDonald's increased from 125 to 129 and Starbucks increased from 41 cents to 45 cents and it shows you what your increase is there so for mine it was 3.2 percent and a 40 cent overall increase on my 10 shares you can create a watch list which i have not done yet will show you your heat map for all of your current stocks and they want you to pay premium on some of these now their platinum is 5.99 a month the platinum for the year is 39 a year or you can go big and do the lifetime purchase for $100. I have not done that, and I probably am not going to do that. Dividend composition, they'll probably hit you with another fee. There it is. <laughs> Just very self-explanatory. You can see that on the wheel. Your portfolio total value gives you the market value, and you can keep doing this if you want. Here, watch this. You can hit later. I'll show you a little trick. You can take a screenshot if you want to. That way, before it pops up, you can get your numbers. That's a little bit of a way to cheat their system. Research Center, they show you the list of Buffett's stocks. He has Apple, Amazon, American Express, Bank of America, cool little list here so if you're wondering what warren buffett has they'll show you all that and you can put it on your watch list they have the dividend aristocrat list high yield stocks dividend achievers the wreath list very fun very interesting sleep well at night stocks the swan stocks and canadian stocks settings is explained self-explanatory new i have multiple portfolios other income you can add if you have any sort of other rental income, anything you want to put in there gives yourself a weekly summary also of incomes. I don't use that. I don't put any of that in. That is a little bit more in depth than I care about. And I will be using a few extra ones, contact and export at the bottom. This is version 5.8.5 of the Dividend Stock Tracker app. I like it. I think it's really cool. And I have been using it for quite some time and we'll see if I can be swayed by any of these other apps. If you liked it, leave me a message in the comments below. And one fun thing before I go that I did not know that I just realized today is, look at on December 14th, Snoopy from MetLife. I did not know Snoopy was their logo. Uh, at least according to this app, it is. And I thank you for watching this. That is the Stock Dividend Tracker app. Let me know what you think of it. I'm a cheapskate. I'm trying to use as much money as I can to retire early on. And by retire early, I mean making my work optional so I don't have to do it if I don't want to, which is going to be a pretty damn cool thing to experience when I do get there. I'm going to keep doing these videos, sharing my journey and my knowledge and information with you. And we're going to try these apps. We're going to try the free versions and we're going to see what's going on with each periodically and you're going to get to experience my experience with these apps in terms of a disclaimer i am not a licensed financial investment advisor and this is not financial advice in any way shape form or regard please do your own due diligence before putting any money into the stock market as there is a significant risk of loss follow me on twitter at rustyram78 you can check out my podcast, Dapper Dividends. I do it every Tuesday and Friday. And please like and subscribe. If you got any value out of this, it lets me know, hey, you know what? I like what this guy's doing. I want to see some more of it. Give me some feedback in the comments below. Expertise comes from the community, from you. Let me know what you think. What apps are you using? What apps would you like to see me use? Let's chat about it. 
And as I said, these are all just my thoughts and opinions shared for fun and entertainment. I will talk to you later.